Well, Shoy, Newcastle United 5, Sheffield United 1. Commiserations to Sheffield United. Unfortunately, they are back to the Championship. We need the points, obviously, to get to Europe. I mean, it was a bit of a funny game the day, wasn't it? It was. I mean, there was a lot of expectation that would smash Sheffield United, maybe 4, 5, 6, given the fact we beat them 8-0 earlier on in the season. I mean, that is a long time ago. But like I say, football moves fast. Yeah, 5-1. I mean, if we turned up for 90 minutes, given how Sheffield United capitulated second half, it could have been double figures. Um, the fact we've beaten them you know, 31 over the season sums up their season. First half, I thought we were absolutely appalling. We were, Abysmal, we? whatever words you want to use. We just didn't really wake up. We didn't turn up in the, in the match. Sheffield United knew that you know a defeat would, would relegate them uh, today. But like I say, we, we, we gave them too much respect. We showed them too much respect. And we're just misplacing passes. Just we're not doing the basics. And you know, Sheffield United's opening goal just summed up, you know, how we just weren't closing down. And you, you feared for us because before Isaac equalised, they could have been four-one up. You know, they had a view, they, didn't they? They hit a, they hit a uh, crossbar at one point. Yeah. And uh, you know, like I say, Isaac equalised, and I would say it was a fair reflection at the first no. half performance but I'm kind of glad that we got it to 1-1 because then the team talks quite easy from Eddie Howard's second half to go into that second half and yep. you know, score the goals that we did and you know teams you know like Sheffield United who are struggling at the bottom if we want European football we, we are the home side we have to dictate the play we have to be the, the side that wants it more and we certainly did that in the second half yeah we did I mean second half was much more better we opened them up it was just all as uh, soon as um we got this fair second goal. It was just, uh, they just completely folded away and that was the problem as well. Isak, 19 goals this season now. Well, in the Premier League, one only one away from 20 goals. He's catching up to Haaland. He's not far away now. Can he do it? He certainly can. I mean, he's he's in red hot form right now. You know, he's, he's getting the service. He just, this is why he's been, you know, linked with some top clubs in the summer. I hope he stays. I think he will. But he just never known football. Um, he's just unlucky that he didn't get his hat trick, but he got his brace. So close again. He did, you know. Like I say, second half, we were obviously chasing, the, chasing the game to try and you know, get ahead. And like I say, Bruno also scored two as well. So, yep. you know, I'm not sure if it's been accredited yet. They they gave the goal to Bruno, yeah. but people are saying different things. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It was all, that second half. It was all about just grabbing the goals that we did. But yeah, you know, Isaac, oh, he's been phenomenal. Um, like 60 million well spent. Like I say, he's just a top footballer. You know, he's so clinical, and like I say, this is why he should be playing at the top level. You know, the, the Champions League, and he's had a taste of it this season with us. And uh, you know, we're hoping to try and get you in football for next season, so we can keep a hold of the likes of you know, Isaac and Bruno. But like I say, he's, he's just such a phenomenal footballer. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely as well. Um, yes, our number nine is back as well with a goal. Great finish as well from Wilson to make it five it's just good to see him back you know it's a good finish he could have got a couple more as well it was, done, you know l- listen this game could have ended you know eight nine ten just how deep Sheffield United were in, in defence like I say it's good to see Wilson back and it's, it's good to see him back amongst the goals we know how clinical he is whether he stays on at the end of the season that remains to be seen there is talk that you know that he could be in the, the shop window but Right now, he's still a Newcastle player. Well, he is. He's Wait. still got a lot to prove. You know, whether he stays in the Premier League, I, I, that remains to be seen. But he's always said that he wants to get to a, a century of Premier League goals. And if he's, if he's getting a goal a game, then he's on he's on course of doing that. But like I say, it's good for his confidence. You know, we've got some tough games coming up. I know they look easy on paper, but there's no easy game in this Premier League. You know, we've got the likes of Burnley, uh, we've got Manchester United, we've got um, you know Brighton coming up. Brentford, they are all winnable games. Yeah, they are. But with they're not easy games, though. No, they're definitely not. This is what I'm saying. I, f- I think it's a case of we just take each game, you know, as it comes. But we, when we play Burnley next week, we can't start the way we did in that no, first half not. because Burnley, yes, they, they've shown a bit of fight there, aren't they, with their result against Man United this afternoon. We just have to, we just have to go at them. That's yeah, what we have to do. Um, but yeah, we form. I mean, if you look back at the Crystal Palace game, I didn't worry too much. Yes, it was poor performance, but. In the first half was equal of Crystal Palace it at was. that performance, but if we can show the second half performance and just put that into a 90 minute performance at Burnley, then I don't see why we can't get, get the win. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, Lawrence, Newcastle United 5, Sheffield United 1. Commiserations to Sheffield United. They are back down to the Championship. We needed the points, obviously, to get Europe, so. But 
It felt a bit of a funny game today, didn't it? Yeah, the first half was pretty frustrating. They got awful. a goal early on, which was a bit of a surprise. But um, obviously, it was, we got the equaliser. It's a good ball to Reese Agnes from Murphy. Um, it's a good finish from him. I think that's now seven consecutive home games he's um, scored in, like when he's played. Um, and of course, he's one away from uh, 20 for the season. But I think half time, Eddie. Must have given them like a big rollicking or something. It wouldn't have surprised me if he did because um, it was really all over the place. But it's a great goal uh, to level the game. But again, just didn't laugh first off. We just didn't really. We still let them come out where, and that was the really thing. So they were putting up a fight. But the second off, uh, we got the second goal, and you know, Chevin United, that always going to fold away uh, from that point, unfortunately. Yeah, the floodgates just uh, opened really once. Well, Bruno got a goal I mean I'm glad he's got a goal St James's Park at last this season yeah, um, yes he has it's all been away from home yep and then um, of course made it um, 3-1 with the, these app out you just knew it, it's pretty much um, game over well it certainly certainly was wasn't it I mean Isak 19 goals in the Premier League not one away from 20 he's on the way to that key. it's going it could go right out to the wire in terms for the golden boot who says He's, he's, he's in with a massive chance for it. That'd be fantastic, especially... I mean, it's an even bigger achievement considering, you know, how you know he's had injuries, um, his injury problems this season. I know Haaland's had in, his problems as well, but... Um, wow. I mean, we're, we're just seeing what he can do with um, not as much injury problems because he's had the injury problems, obviously, not quite as bad as what he had um, just after he came in. Well, yeah, absolutely, totally, totally, yes, um, definitely, definitely. I mean, yeah, uh, our number nine was back on the score sheet again at home. I mean, great goal, just probably that in the roof of the net. He needed to get the goal because his last, he hasn't scored since um, Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. Um, it was just great seeing back on the score sheet. Uh, of course, he's been out for um, a couple of months. It's a bit annoying that um, his contract up next year because he would have actually been an all right um, squad player, but then it you kind of like either if you don't give him a new contract, you probably got to sell him in the summer. Well, yeah, I think we've said sell him because the injuries are just a big cause of concern. Uh, that's the thing. But yeah, at least we've got another option off the bench if we need to bring in uh, another striker on. So yeah, the way he took his goal was very, very good, uh, definitely as well. So yeah, but um, you got to credit the, some of the, the Sheffield United players going over to the fans that stayed behind. Um, thanking them, of course, thanking them. I mean, I think you've got to see a fair play to them. Yeah, they've had such a difficult season. I mean, and, um, you know, obviously they've known for months they were going to get relegated. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, I mean, it's always hard to, you know, you all keep playing. But at the same time, you know, they've been relegated for, um, for a reason. Um, but... That's it, yeah. Yeah, and just in case of that to prepare for the championship, I'm sure they'll be, um, you know, charging for promotion. Yeah, absolutely. Burnley way next week. It's going to be another challenging game because Burnley are also fighting for their lives as well, and they got a point in Old Trafford today. So not going to be easy, but we cannot start the game like how we did the day. What well, can it? Um, but I think um, hopefully the lads will have um, learnt that. Um, yeah. That uh, even Sheffield United have managed to. Um, Punish worse. Anyone could really uh, punish worse if we don't start, um, you know, on it. And, um, you know, Burnley, the, I mean, a months, couple months ago you said, yeah, they're, they're definitely gone. But uh, the pubs and fight, they give themselves an outside chance. Yeah. If, if they probably left it too late. But um, it's not going to be an easy game for us. They've got results which have helped us by drawing against Chelsea and today against Man United. But, um, yeah. So it won't be easy, but you know we've won the last couple of games um, down there. Um, yeah, of course, won there in Rappers last season. So um, yeah, we could definitely um, get another win down there. Yeah, hopefully we will. Thank, Thank you. All.